German influence had transformed the Lone Star State. German communities thrived, their heritage on full display in festivals and social clubs, their language spoken openly in numerous towns and cities. And then, World War I, 1914. In Europe, peace is shattered. The great nations descend into all-out war. The United States wouldn't enter the Great War until 1917, but tensions ran high among German communities here in America. Their homeland was the enemy, in a war that would claim more than 18 million people. The patriotism of German Texans was questioned. Some were attacked by mobs, dragged into the streets, tarred and feathered. A few were murdered. German families, who'd openly practiced their traditions for decades, lived in fear. Olefa Kurt Matthies of Waco remembered how her family's sing-alongs changed during the war. And then my mother would come in, she said, don't sing German songs, whatever you do, don't sing, otherwise they might come and get us. It was a dark period for Germans in Texas. For many, the darkest since the oppression they felt back in Germany. Street and town names were purged of their German past. New Brandenburg and Stonewall County became the more patriotic Old Glory. German newspapers were shuttered, and the German language began to fall out of use. Not until 30 years later, after the Second World War, would Texans feel comfortable expressing their German cultural heritage again. By that time, more than a century had passed since the first German immigrants settled here. Their industriousness, fueled by hope, left an indelible mark on Texas, changing the state forever. Descendants of German settlers eventually assimilated fully into Texas life. The German Texans had become Americans. <laughs>